Yo. And happy Thursday. It is the 5th of January. And uh, yeah, we're on the way to work. Well, John's very kindly driving me to work today because he's got the day off. And uh, yeah, it's cold on the bus. However, you know, in true beach fashion, just running slightly late. We're never like late, late, are we? No, we just make it a bit touching, huh? No? Yeah, we always get there by the skin of our teeth. So technically, we're not late for the thing that we're going to. But um, yeah, skin of our teeth. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that is that is all really. Today is a slightly sad day as the Christmas decorations are coming down. I know so many people that I follow on Instagram took them down on Boxing Day, which is insane to me. I like. If you've, if you've took your Christmas decorations down on Boxing Day, you put them up too early. Fact. <laughs> Beach fact. Uh, whereas you know, I'm not gonna lie, I'd leave them up all year round. They never annoy me. Um, I know my mum is one of those people that she likes to take them down as close to New Year's Eve as possible because um, she gets fed up with them. But I, I would leave them up all year round because Christmas is my favourite. Um, but yeah, it's 12th, 12th night, is that what it's called? Yeah. The 12th day of Christmas or whatever. They have to come down today, which is sad, but not until this evening. Um, but yes, that is all I have to report. Hope you're having a good day. Talk to you in a bit. Good morning. For a second time, I think I just shared you all last time. But um, yeah, it's 10 to 10. I've got a Costa coffee and I am off to, I'm just sat in the car park of a Tesco Superstore, which is next to uh, um, Family History Centre, um, run by the Latter-day Saints, because apparently all the Family History Centres that hold lots of the records for ancestry and family search are at the Latter-day Saints Church. So I am uh, drinking a coffee, waiting for them to open at 10 o'clock. I'm off to follow up on a couple of leads on, um, that I found online, about some records about my my mum's side of the family, the Polish side of the family. So um, fingers crossed they can help me out a little bit. Problem I've got is that all the records um, about my mum's side of the family are actually in the Ukraine because where my family's from originally was Poland but after the Second World War then become the Ukraine because the borders shifted so it makes it very difficult and um, the, the real, real, real difficult bit is Online it says that they're actually in Latin. And as I don't speak Latin, I definitely can't read it. So I'm really, really hoping, one, that these people can help me access these uh, records because apparently they can. Um, and two, somebody in there has some knowledge of Latin. Fingers crossed big ask. Well, that was a disappointing start. The um, Family History Centre is shut. There's a uh, there's no nobody there. The gates are locked. The um, lights are all off. So I decided to give it 10-15 minutes and nobody turned up. So I tried ringing the telephone number. It doesn't exist. So um, I had a bit of a read on the website and did say that all the family search centre, all family history centres are run by volunteers. So maybe they've not no volunteers at the moment. So it's not open. Which is a little bit disappointing. But there is another one. Um, but it is the other side of Cornwall. Um, which is about 35 miles away. But um, I think what we'll do is later on when I get home, I'll try and ring them. They seem to be, according to the website, they seem to be open a lot longer, a lot more hours. But obviously it's a fur track, so I didn't really want to... This one wasn't too far away. Um, anyway, I'll, 
I've lost nothing except for an hour and a day, so um, I'll give them a ring later and see, hopefully see if we can get an appointment or something to go and see them, if they are open, if they're even there. If not, it'll be a trip somewhere to go and find one. Um, one of the bigger ones in a city somewhere. But um, it will not stop me. I'm still going to find this stuff out. Um, anyway, I'm now off to meet Rob from Rugby in a minute when I can turn this corner. And uh, we're going to have a quick coffee, I think, and then we're going to go and see our main sponsor. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have a chat with... Uh, with our big sponsor about the year to come. I'm home, I've been home for a little while now. Um, had a bit of lunch, made some phone calls, a bit of a disaster going on, rugby wise. But that's all right, I've got the Christmas tree to sit there and after, I've just seen that in the background. I hate that. Um, yeah, so, family search centre, didn't happen. Rang them, number didn't exist. Rang the next one, up in San Ostal. Got some random hand man's house. He knew nothing about it, even though their number that number is on the internet. Then found FamilySearch.com, whatever it is, online and rang their number. Got through to Utah. Please leave a message, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's a bit of a dead duck today. So that's that one. Um, had a bit of lunch. The boys are not sleeping, but relaxing after a bit of a manic half an hour run around. It's a going a bit dark, it's only 3 o'clock, it's going dark already. But uh, I'm just going to do a bit of tidying up. Get ready for uh, taking the decks down right there. It's a sad moment when I'm taking the Christmas tree down. Twelfth night tonight. Go ahead. So for a bit of fun, just to cheer myself up, I'm going to play disco dancing. Whee! I love these trainers, they're epic. Got all the different settings. Look at them. Hi guys, and I am home. And uh, Gilly clearly thinks he's a cat. Why are you sitting on the sofa? Hey, you're not allowed to do that. Get down. Get down, please. Get down, come on. Get down. Good girl. As you can see, the Christmas tree is gone. It's probably my like third worst day of the year. <sighs> but John is gets top points because he knows how much I hate it. So he took it down so I didn't have to. So best husband of the day goes to uh, John Beach. True story. Um, so yeah. Been at work today, haven't vlogged because I'm rubbish. Uh, I did go to, sorry, I need a cup of tea. I did go to the pound shop in my lunch break and I bought four things. I shall show you the four things I bought. I bought a new mat <laughs> for the patio to go in front of the patio door so it's on. Um, it just, it matches the colour of our carpet a bit better than the one that was there. And it's slightly bigger, so hopefully we'll get less paw prints on the carpet. I bought myself a new diary for 2017, because I think this is the first time ever I didn't get one um, as a Christmas present. Uh, this, again, Pound Shop, love it. it. says, trust me, you can dance, vodka. And the other two things I got were fairy lights. The amazing things... Oh, that was gilly. The amazing thing about these fairy lights is all the Christmas decorations were reduced to 25p. Um, so I got these for, you know, two packs, 50p for fairy lights. So I'm happy with that. And obviously I use fairy lights all year round, so winning. And it's tea time and it looks a bit empty on the plates, but we have homemade pizza. These are the Genius Pizza Bases. It's got a barbecue sauce on the bottom. Um, corn pepperoni. Um, vegan dairy-free coconut cheese. Mushrooms. Red onion. Um, and then, yeah, herbs on the top. It's not a vegan pizza because I believe corn put some form of milk powder 
in the pepperoni but it's a vegetarian pizza even though it looks all meaty and delicious so yeah that one's John and that one's mine so been a pretty crappy vlogger tonight um fell asleep on the sofa and now I'm in bed um I haven't got out of my clothes yet though yeah banging headache I don't know quite where it's from also got a second chin like the world's biggest spot coming not nice uh yeah so sorry for the uh crappy vlogging sorry if you can hear the telly john's in the front room watching shameless I'm quite sure he's re-watched every series of that now <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna bed hope you've had a good day i'll see you in the next one bye guys